So let's talk surf skis. I don't have a Richter, I don't have a crash, I don't have a hurricane, I don't have anything crazy like that. I'm a little old school, I started riding stand-ups, 440s. My family raced in the 80s, I raced in the 90s. So I still have one of my X2s, which was my original X2 from 91, 92 when I raced. Then I started riding blasters, wave blasters uh, in 93. So I still got that and I've turned them into my surf skis. So nothing crazy, so here's some surf skis on a budget, things you can do to get out in the surf, ride safe, and be able to make it back into shore. Simple things that uh, you don't need to go spend 20 grand on, on a Richter or anything like that. So it is very important that you do do these things because the surf's no joke. You get out there and you get stuck in a riptide, you get stuck out there, you know, in and out. It's happened. I used to ride Northern California Bodega Bay before they turned it into a sanctuary. 20, 30 foot swells, surf breaking in the teens so big big surf pismo i've never seen it that big and i've been riding down here for 20 years so check out my skis we'll show you what we have first i'm going to show you the x2 it's a 91 x2 it ain't pretty it went through about two three years of racing so it got beat up and bashed but it's got a 750 small pin with 650 electronics in it um, the 650 electronics i feel in the surf it's just a little more um, reliable then having the 750 electronics, my 95 X2, which isn't here, does have the, uh, the 750 electronics. But this one, I've got a shaved hood on it. Got the UMI steering. It's got 750 motor, Kaufman exhaust, West Coast uh, water box, 46 millimeter single carb. I don't run dual carbs on surf boats because I want a little more bottom in and I want reliability. Two carbs, that's two holes. That's more holes for water to get in and I'd rather just have the 46. Uh, my 95 actually had dual carbs on it and I took those off and went to a single carb. So this ski is very reliable, runs great, scat track, impeller, and my phone's ringing. One thing you want to do with the x2s is i run two bilge pumps always have two bilge pumps you just want that water out of there as quick as possible as fast as possible and having two if one fails you have a second so we run two bilge pumps i do have a toe strap right there hooked up to me ready to go uh cooling lines um, you do want to keep your lower crankcase drain uh, it's very easy to sink these and get a lot of water in them so a lot of people delete this but I don't delete it, I need it. Uh, I change plugs every time I come out. I've always got probably a dozen plugs with me. Plugs foul like crazy in the ocean. Uh, WD-40, I soak everything in WD-40 or fogging fluid. Next up we got the 701 Wave Blaster. So I've got a factory pipe on that, girdled head, 46 millimeter carb, UMI steering, and um, that ski just put a new engine in it. Actually, it still had the original engine, so it had about four years of racing on it and almost 20 years of surf riding on it. 701s are just amazing. They're so reliable versus the Kawasaki. So that ski's great. It's only got a single bilge. The Wave Blasters don't take on as much water as the X2, so I've only got a single bilge on it. Um, I've got the 701 Industries seat on it, which is great for side mounting in the surf and just a great ski. It's kind of my old man ski, so when I want to warm up, when I'm tired, that's what I ride. When I want to go out and really ride, I ride my X2. Um, I probably, I ride pretty conservative these days just because I can't afford to get hurt. All right guys, we're gonna talk about flush kits. So flushing your ski out after the ocean, very important to do. Salt water is a cancer, it will eat everything. It will ruin everything. So one thing that we do is every time I pull the ski out, I flush it out. So I use a chemical called Salt Away I've got a uh, 35 gallon tank here and I have a little 12 volt pump with a battery and I use WD-40 fogging fluid just to kind of spray everything down after I flush it all out. So take a look at what I got. So right there I got my 12 volt battery and 12 foot pump or 12 volt pump right there and 35 gallon tank and then 
my spray bottle for my salt away. So salt away is what I use right there. You can get that stuff right on Amazon, of course. And I always have a spare pump. This is an old one that I, doesn't prime real good, it cracked, but I keep a spare. I got some spare parts for it. Uh, spare flush kit. This is my little soap dispenser, but I put the salt away in it. And of course that'll plug into the jet ski so I can flush out the engine. So I'm gonna spray it all down with salt away. Just all the connectors, anything metal. got that ski all flushed out and I do this after every ride and then I do it again when I get home and then I continue to start the ski about every week for probably six weeks just to make sure I get all the moisture I can out of it that moisture that salt water will just eat an engine so you want to try and get it as dry as possible moisture will sit in the pot the pipe water will sit in the pipe get it cleaned out you want to make sure you flush your skis good I mean I I wash out the entire trailers my I use that salt away on my quads I use it on everything so salt is just a cancer so if you're gonna come to the beach if you're gonna come out here to the ocean make sure you flush and clean your toys and of course don't forget you're gonna need a beach cart I've got the four-wheel aqua cart it's a little over more than I need but I like the four wheels just because I use it as a shop cart too and uh, we use the Razor lately, but you can use a quad too with a hitch on it for getting the ski down to the water because you really don't want to drive your vehicle down to the water. Just I, I don't even drive the Razor into the water. I keep it, and the quad, I keep it up above the high surf line. But you're going to want to get a nice aluminum cart. These aqua carts are one of the best in the industry. There's some two-wheel carts also that you can get, uh, but I use that one. And then, of course, a couple beach stands. Those are nice to have as well. You can set them out here, put them in the ocean, work on them. You can't touch our 